The loss that we experience isn't recognized as legitimate because we're not recognized as legitimate people with valid feelings and emotions. I made this photograph of her mom. You could imagine how she was feeling, lots of emotions. We seek to amplify our voices by synchronizing our voices with shared analysis about white supremacy yes. and how white supremacy harms all of us. We're in this climate right now where we have to reconfigure what grief means. Ramadan itself is a struggle and to go through that struggle with people forms a very powerful basis for solidarity. This year, unfortunately, there will be no such gathering. It's a spiritual month that's meant for us to look inward and be reflective. And it's very hard not to be reflective during a global pandemic in which our lives have changed on the drop of a dime. What is really, really critical is that we oftentimes bring in marginalized groups at the end of a project to sort of get a stamp of approval. I would say to all creators in this room, bring diverse people in early because none of our groups are monolithic. We're just hoping to develop a framework that is healthier for all of us to be able to engage with. Also in the process, teach others how to understand us better. I would like to thank my God, uh, Allahu Akbar. Our number one rule on this show is we are not going to question the faith. We put everything on our characters. If we create create a formal system of relationships, then we're going to have a greater possibility of capturing stories that can show us in our fullness. Thousands have been forced to wait for hours in long lines at food banks all across the country. Since the pandemic has happened, and this is also the first week of Ramadan, we've actually increased the amount of food that we're giving out. Our sunnah, our tradition, believes that charity begins at home. You have to really ask the people that you're trying to help what they need, listen humbly, and then do what you can helps bring needed resources to our community, especially in emergency and critical times like these. The first portion of the divided question is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Tanvir versus Tanzan, just argued on October 6th by Professor Kassem. The FBI agents asked these men to become confidential informants. All placed or kept on the no-fly list. 78% of eligible Muslim voters in the United States have registered to vote in Tuesday's presidential poll. When we're actually representing American Muslims in a systematic and accurate way, Muslims of all backgrounds get to have a vote, get to have a, a voice. We want our legislators to feel like they're accountable to us. And in order for that to happen, they need to know who we are. There are transformational changes that have to take place. We should roll up our sleeves and get involved in making that change happen. Mm -hmm.